everybody, this is Grace Schleter reporting live from the Schleter House. We're into the third week of this great adventure. Get it? Adventure. So we're gonna go around now and ask people some deep theological questions. Joseph, we're asking some deep theological questions. Is it possible for people to fly unaided? Are you okay? That'd be pretty much impossible. Joseph of Cupertino in 1630 actually hovered above a crowd during a procession. This was the first of lots of flights, which soon earned him the nickname, the Flying Saint. I can tell you're real interested. Dude, it's like a miracle. You'd think if people read about that, there would be a lot more people who believe in God. Hey, victim. So, I've got a deep theological question for you. Is it possible for an ordinary wooden statue of a woman to cry. Yeah, Anne Marie, Catherine, Grace. We are not wooden. Why would a wooden statue cry? That's what I'm asking you. Don't you have anything better to do? Wooden statues don't cry. Are you sure about that? Uh, yeah, physics. How about theology? Can't happen. Can. Just go away. Sister Agnes from Japan had special apparitions, which are appearances, from our Blessed Mother. And the statue there wept tears of blood 101 times. Talk about awesome. One time even on national TV for everyone to see. Really? You have that? Shh. And now we're going to inquire about the most impressive miracle of all. Oh, don't come in here. Go away. Grace, off of my bed. Is it possible for the boys' room to be clean for more than 24 hours? Uh, impossible. I don't think so. So, I guess there are some things that might be regarded as impossible. Which means the room is just like a canonization indicator. Stay tuned. Let me tell you about a time where four miracles happen at one time. Number one, an angel comes to Mary. Let's just start there. Number two, though she is a virgin, the angel says she will have a son. Miracle number three. That son is the second person in the Trinity, the God of the universe. Miracle number four. Though her cousin Elizabeth is barren, she will have a son also. So, some big questions for you. What is that thing in your life that you think is impossible? Beyond what makes sense, Mary believes. She trusts in God based upon his promise. It's worth asking, what is the greatest promise he has made to us? We can become saints. That's the promise of eternal life. That's what we're about. More than a fleeting moment, but a life-defining movement. And how is that possible? Just like for Mary, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Join us at massimpact.us. Get there now and download the Live It Gathering Guide. It's a great way for families to talk and pray. If you can set aside your phones, gadgets, devices, it will be the best 30 minutes you've had in a long time. And join us every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, for our weekly radio program, Ignite Radio Live. For more information, go to massimpact.us. We'll meet you this Sunday in the Eucharist to partake of Him who is love, our very identity, and know how truly and deeply God loves you.